we didn't actually get that started till 2018. And we went across Canada, we had a very successful tour. Uh, we went again in 2019 with another very, very successful tour. 2020 was booked up solid and COVID hit, of course. And uh, so it all came tumbling down and it stayed down there for, for the longest time. So David doesn't travel across Canada with me anymore, but I always love to come up in this neck of the woods and we, we, uh, we try to book up as many shows as we can. We're gonna be on the, on the 31st of May, Friday, uh, Friday coming, we're in um, Georgetown, Prince Edward Island at the, the King's Playhouse Theatre. If you know anybody over that way, tell them to come out to our show if you would. We'd really appreciate it. We're in uh, Petty Kodiak uh, next uh, Saturday night coming on the 1st of June. So if you want to come on out that way, we'd love to see you. We're going to be at the Legion for it. Yeah. Uh, in the full show, we also have bagpipes and a whole bunch of other stuff. As well. Banjo, bagpipes. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, so we're in Petty Kodiak and we're going to be out in uh, Port Elgin on the 7th and I believe in Japan at the United Church in Japan on the on the 8th of June. Yeah. Uh, then I head uh, back to Newfoundland for the summer and, and then I do a cross Canada tour coming up in uh, the um, around the first part of August I start a solo tour across Canada. So we, we do a lot of traveling. It's funny because when Dave and I first went out to Kitimat, BC and we were looking for the Royal Canadian Legion and we... Uh, we punched it in on these new GPS because years ago we didn't know you had to hollow the road map and you're trying to follow you know, one guy looking trying to figure out where you are and where you gotta go. You, you gotta tell him that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, we punched it in on the GPS and it's taken up this old gravel road is telling us where to go. And we get right up to the end of the road and there's a big graveyard right there on our right hand side. And the GPS says, You have reached your final destination. <laughs> Well, we weren't long getting that out of there, I'll tell you that. Well, he didn't do it all of it. Because prior to that, we stopped in the, in the, one, in the general store, and Gordon goes in and gets a shovel. Your mic is He gets a shovel and throws a shovel in the back of the car. Then we sit the GPS. Where did it take us? To the cemetery. He his toes. And he would have shoveled in the back. Yeah. We went out to Prince Rupert, so he wanted to put his foot in the, in the Pacific Ocean. Because he had already put it in the Atlantic Ocean. So I was bending on, on the wharf out in BC. <laughs> Kneeling down, I'm going to put my hand in the water so I can see. I touched the water in the east to the west. All I seen was bubbles going up. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. the bubbles in the water, not in the glass. Can you give me the nudge overboard? I pushed him in. You're going to feel that with your finger. You've got to you gotta feel the whole experience, right? That's what I about. So we're going to take you away right out of this country all together. We're going to Ireland this time. and. Uh, um, a song that I, I've been doing in all of my shows across the country, Dave, I think we've done this one a few times as well, and it was written by a fellow in Ireland by the name of Patsy Cavanaugh. 